Yes, me there again, my people. Big up. Respect and manners to each and every one. Yes, see, my people. So, me get some information that makes me think about mental health. So, me ask my people. Yeah, me have some things to talk to you about. Anyway, so, I got the understanding that there are reports about a female in the United States of America who had been accused of stabbing her three-year-old daughter to death. So according to reports, it is said that a female who goes by the name of Jalissa Baxter and is said to be 24 year old was arrested by police on Tuesday on charges of first degree murder and aggravated child abuse. According to reports, it is said that police said that Baxter allegedly confessed to the crime in a 911 call. See? And according to more reports, it is said that Baxter told police that she had killed her child. According to police report, it is said that Baxter claimed that she strangled her child at first. But when that didn't work, she stabbed her child in the chest and neck. And according to report, it is said that officers arrived at an apartment and named a certain address or location and found Baxter inside of the apartment, viewers and subscribers. It is said that she was wearing a certain type of clothing and that they also found the child on the ground with stab wounds, viewers and subscribers. It is reported that the child, who is said to be a girl child, was pronounced dead and a knife that is believed to be the murder weapon was found inside of the house or at the scene viewers and subscribers it is said that a motive for the killing was not revealed viewers and subscribers and baxter refused to speak with police after taken into custody so it is said that uh, the female who had been accused of uh, stabbing her child to death had been held without bond at a certain correctional center viewers and subscribers that is located within the country that is known as the United States of America. So I also saw pictures and words that have been posted on a Twitter account for North Miami Beach PD and I'm going to read from that post that have been made on the Twitter account viewers and subscribers and then we'll take a look at one of those pictures. So I say so in the tweet says at M-Y-N-M-B-P-O-L-I-C-E has confirmed the arrest of Jalissa Amaya Baxter for the murder of her three-year-old daughter. She has been charged with murder in the first degree and aggravated child abuse. Now, viewers and subscribers, when I take a look at uh, the pictures, viewers and subscribers, I realize that those pictures shows what are said to be farms or application farms as all some people might say yes i say yeah me that's a farms but anyways so in one of those pictures viewers and subscribers i saw baxter jelisa amaya and uh, at the part that says citizenship i see jm and at the part that says place of birth with other words, I see J.M. And there's another part that says J.A.M. So, let me just point out those things to you, my viewers and subscribers. I'm not the one saying these things. You understand me? It's really and truly a sad situation. Like, really and truly sad. You see what I mean? I say, all right, my people. So, I'm going to move on to another topic. You can let me know what to think about that situation. Now, here's another disturbing news now, viewers and subscribers. I got information that a 10-year-old boy within the country that is known as United States of America had been accused of killing his mother after she refused from buying him what is said to be a virtual reality headset. So, according to information that I got, viewers and subscribers, it is said that uh, prosecutors said the boy pulled the trigger in the basement of the family's home and that uh, the incident happened last month. 
and a certain address had been named the viewers and subscribers. So I say, so allegedly and according to information that I got, it is said that the boy told police that he was angry at his mother and that his mother woke him up early the morning of November 21st and wouldn't buy him what is said to be a virtual reality headset from Amazon. So initial report is that the boy told officers that he got the gun from his mother's bedroom and then he got to the basement where he, his mother was at doing laundry. Allegedly it is said that the boy told the police that he aimed the gun at his mother and that he was in a shooting stance and that he was trying to shoot a wall to scare his mother but at some point the mother got in front of him and uh, she had been shot viewers and subscribers allegedly it is said that the woman is in her 40s and it is said that the female was shot in her head allegedly it is said that at times whenever the boy get angry he would act out and behave certain ways now my people when it comes on to some more information we get as to what the boy do after the day of the shooting viewers and subscribers i would like you to ask me question about that in the comment section of the video yeah ask me i will tell you whatsoever information i get in the comment section of the video now according to report it said that the boy made a virtual court appearance from what is said to be a juvenile detention facility that is located somewhere in the country of united states of america and that uh, a judge or the judge kept his face hidden okay all right that's understandable allegedly it is said that the boy's father also made some form of virtual appearance of your subscribers but i don't have any information if the father said anything at all that's if the father really actually made any form of virtual appearance you see anyways according to reports and allegedly it is said that uh, the judge previously set the boy's bail at fifty thousand dollars and that is not jamaican money no it's not jamaican money but his public defender said they would like to lower that amount my people this situation are really sad he said away me they even know what to say see because in my point of view and i and i'm thinking that maybe the boy not even come to the hundred percent reality about the situation in my point of view i'm just assuming it's just sad you understand it's just sad hmm i have to live with something like that my people you know for the rest of your life i'm going to move on to another topic now i'm going to present a video to you that i recorded in trinidad and tobago and this video is going to show some things that happened when persons who was traveling inside of a motor vehicle was stopped or pulled over by police within the country of trinidad and tobago I got the understanding that the motorist who was driving the motor vehicle was questioned by police viewing subscribers and in this video you can hear a conversation between a person and a police officer viewing subscribers now when you listen to this conversation and tell me what i think because i see patience from both sides in this conversation all right but listen nevertheless and observe okay. but you know i know i saw you all Pass yes. well. Let me tell you how I profile you. All right. I saw you all pass well. You know what I tell them? I said them police going and turn around and come back. I you know why? It look, it does look bad. You know, they can't what, profile what you. Bad? They what can't profile bad? you. Some feel let every. Let me, let me hear why you say yeah, what does look bad. What is look bad? I saw you. I saw when you turn and I. But tell me what does look bad. What is? Because I see when you watch my vehicle. I see when you watch my vehicle. So you see when I watch my vehicle, I always. No, I see when you watch. I see when you went. I see watch the turn and the coming back. So all you see is when I watch in your vehicle. Yeah, I see when you watch my vehicle and then I. You see when I watch your vehicle and the number plate. Oh, I'm putting the number plate. Yeah, you see, I didn't see that, but I didn't get to see the number of it. What happened? A vehicle just like this uh -huh. put on our bridge three days ago. So then what's wrong? Yeah, listen to what I'm telling you. Yeah, go ahead. Right? Now, you know, let me say they love me, right? Yeah. Yeah. And 
Yeah. We just going up the road right. and let me say it was the vehicle. Right. And we just see the vehicle and just continue going straight. You right. see. You know what? Something like that. If you hear something like that, you know what you say? You know, police and doing the work. They got to check the vehicle. No. First to begin. If you approach all in any aggressive way. No, but you see that for your pull up there, that is that. What did can I, I say is that? I cut you across so? Well, look at that. Wait, wait, no, wait, you wait, put wait. on your siren. Right. Obviously, I pull right. aside. And I know the law. You pull aside, please. Yes. And it's when you pull aside, yes. then I put the vehicle like that. Not so? Yes. Am I lying? And I asked you, I said, Officer, why did you pull me over? <laughs> Excuse me. And I yes. said, I will tell you just now. Right. And that is where I come to explain to you after we had to make checks. Right. So I search everybody, make sure everybody and nothing on them and right. they're safe. Right. Right? I wouldn't even go into searching a vehicle. Right. Because it's not the vehicle. Right. But while here, mm -hmm. I had to search the fellas and them to make sure nothing happened because I find the look. Yes, you find the look. Oh, what, what do you consider suspicious? Yeah. How you profile suspicious? Huh? Yeah, in the law, I do in criminology. How would you call suspicious because they're here open because one of them here not yeah. up because of what? What do you call suspicious? Driving and an Audi is suspicious? No, 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 no. I never tell a guy why I stopped No, here. no, so but you say they you say 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 you No, 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 no. you say you say you say I said, and I really like police, they really and truly, you know, fine. Oh, answer certain questions. But how they look here? Well, you tell me what's suspicious is you here. Well, it's suspicious, you know, if you, you see a man looking like he's bobbing and he's hiding and he's waiting and he's profiling a scene, yeah. but none of that, they wasn't doing that. You see what they wasn't doing? What they was doing? They were the two of them. Same, not in the back. Two of them in the back. What they was doing? You see what they was doing? You want any back seat? No, when we pass, watch what you do. Watch. So. Uh. So, besides seeing the vehicle, yeah. besides seeing the vehicle, yeah. right, that was involved in a robbery three days ago, right? Well, not this. A vehicle well, not like this. it. I like it. Right? So, let me well, rephrase it. A vehicle same like color, this. Same right? color. Yes. Yeah. Same color. But remember, I tell you, I didn't yeah. get to see a plate. Right. Right? Right. Right. But how he was staying there, moving, oh. right, that aroused my suspicion like something else. Ah. Oh. So that is why I asked them to exit the vehicle. Right. And I was never disrespectful to you. I right. said, ma'am, hold on, I will explain to you why. To explain why. to my officer, what? Hey, you see how you I like how you operated, ma'am. Officer Moran. Moran. Yeah. You see how so you can run up to those people talk to them. Yes, and I think we can see you. Yeah. This is why we have to do what we have to do. Because it could have been you. It could have been me, eh? But you see, I don't be in places for it to be me. You understand? I'm going to tell you something based on my experience. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be in places. Mm -hmm. You could come home and meet you or you right could come right. exactly where you are. Right? I can go back my insurance. Right, so sorry. everything good, right? Everything good. All right. right? So the fellas good too? Look at your pop. No, you pull up my artist and them. Eh? We well, never hear about you. You never hear about like all that's a pull up a song. Oh, you know that's one in front. You know Leo King. He's a artist too. He's a artist. I know he. Where is he? Ah, Leo King. I'm playing music. Keep on the elbow. I'm playing 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 the elbow. He's a good youth. Man, what makes what make him good? Let me tell you. He can no, no, respect the patience no, between no, those no, persons. We no, talk about no, police and civilians. Wait, 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 tell me earlier on when I was talking. ไม่เสียเพื่อนแม่มาเวทเอาเมื่อไหร่เนี่ยพอเราเดินไปเอ๊ะอ๋อเดี๋ยวนะเอาดูเพื่อนเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี
May I tell you, my people, you see how things get more easier just by simply conversating and do things calmly and so forth. You see how things go? You see, the thing is, whenever you have videos out there that shows police doing bad, them videos there a lot of times go viral and get whole heap of comments on social media. But you see, when some videos they out there where police do good, me now say them no post on social media, but at the same time, it's like, in my point of view, those type of videos not get as much comments as how um, other videos that shows police doing certain things. That's what I say, my people, them things there. So when police do good, yes, say them do good. When police do bad, say them do bad. And as some you look at it, you understand, and people for know the good and the bad just the same. You understand? I would mean, rather more the good be known than the bad. As some you look at life. But because bad affect people so much, that's why bad really talked about. Basically because of awareness. You see? So my people, tell me what you think about that situation, viewers and subscribers. And I real, I see patience from both parties in my point of view. Me talk from police and those persons who was traveling inside of the motor vehicle. So let me know what you think about that whole situation. Can I see patience right there so, and somewhat of a calmness in my point of view. Yeah, so I left it. Big up and respect to my viewers and subscribers within the country that is known as Trinidad and Tobago and to each and every one of you, my viewers and subscribers. Until next time, my name is Dancer Skiller. Big up.